Windows XP, how to extract your player saves and maps from Call of Duty World at War. A short film by the Mookster. This is a follow-up to last night's video for Tim. It's how to get your files out of Windows XP ready for your Windows 7 PC. I may or may not star in this video, so be warned. The first thing you'll need, you'll need to find yourself a USB stick. Have you spotted which one's me yet? Right, USB stick. Plug it in, go to start, go to my computer, and it will show up as a new drive on your computer. Probably something like E drive, F drive, H drive, something like that. You'll soon find it anyway. Okay, USB sticks in. Need to show the hidden files and folders in XP. So click on control panel, appearances and themes, folder options, then we click on the view tab in folder options, show hidden files and folders, and then we need to untick hide extensions for known file types. Click apply and click OK. Right now we need to find our relevant files and folders in Call of Duty World at War. Click start, click my computer, Local disk C, documents and settings, click your username, then we want local settings, application data, Activision, Call of Duty World at War, and there's the three folders that we need, mods, user maps, and the player files. Right click on the player files, and click copy. Now, I'm going to click start, go to my computer, and there is the USB stick we plugged in earlier. Right click on an empty space, click paste, and your player files will now copy across. While these are copying, we're going to go and get a user maps. So start, no, actually, no, no, it's already showing up. Call of Duty World of War, there we go. Right click user maps, click copy, and there's a USB stick. Right click on empty space and click paste. If you watched yesterday's Windows 7 video, you'll see the folders in Windows 7 where to copy these files from the USB stick to. Okay, good night.